from my last video, I basically talked about how I got, I applied for a new job at the bank, and I actually found out that I got it fairly recently. It was about two weeks or so after uh, the interview, so I was kind of freaking out. I was thinking, oh no, oh no, what happened? Like, what did I do? Because I kept thinking, oh, I'm, I was so nervous, they're probably going to be like, no, they don't, like, we're, we're going to find someone else that's more qualified, but I was super surprised and also really happy to hear that I got it. And so it's going to definitely be a different and a new chapter of my life, a new thing to experience. I'm going to be learning a lot of new things and it's, it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. I actually just got back from a fingerprint scanning um, appointment. Basically they required, not in addition to a background check, they wanted to get your fingerprints electronically sent to them. The fingerprinting process was actually very um, awkward and yeah, I was very, I wasn't, I didn't feel that nervous, but for some reason I was, and I, like for some reason I was really tense, so it was making it harder for the fingerprint to be read, because you have to roll your whole finger over that scanner, and it's just, is weird. But luckily, it's good, it's done, and hopefully it'll come back, or go through all smoothly, and then I can start working. So now I'm actually going to do a small Q&A uh, just to kind of introduce myself and to let you guys know a little bit more about me. So here are some of the questions. I actually ended up finding a 50 question tag, but of course I'm not going to answer all 50 of them because that's kind of long. So I think I'm only going to answer the first 15 and then I'll continue later if anyone else is interested in knowing more information about me. So let's get started. Question one, what's your favorite candle scent? Actually, my favorite candle scent is one that I actually got from Target. It was a, a YouTuber recommendation. She recommended Pink Magnolia and it smells really good. And it still hasn't actually gone down yet. I, have, I don't actually burn it too often, but um, when I do light it, it makes the whole, whole like house smell really good. So I love that candle scent. Question number two. How old do you think you'll be when you get married? Huh, I'm actually not sure. Um, right now I'm actually 22, believe it or not. <laughs> A lot of people actually don't believe that. But um, I actually took one of those funny quizzes on Facebook. You know, the what age will you get married type of thing. And I ended up getting, I, th I believe it was like 25. But I doubt I'm going to get married in the next like three years. So yeah. Um, 25 if not well then i'll just get married whenever i get married hopefully late 20s i don't know yet who knows next question question number three can you do a split no and i probably will never be able to i even in elementary school i was never flexible so i tried doing it and i just I couldn't do it because it hurt too much and you know how like you have to kind of start building up your muscles and your flexibility at a young age well by the time I was in like elementary school I was really bad at just being flexible in anything the only thing I could do was like a bridge and even then it wasn't even that good and I couldn't even sustain it for that long so no I can't do a split I wish I could but I can't question number four let's see where is it oh how old were you when you learned how to ride a bike? I think I was about, I would say six or seven years old. Still in elementary school, I remember my dad just taught me and I had training wheels for the longest time and then eventually he was like, okay, let's take off the training wheels. So I was like, all right. While he was taking them off, I remember I was getting really impatient because I was like, ah, I just want to go. I just want to go. And then as soon as you come off, I just went. And then I figured it out and I was like, oh, cool. So through sheer determination and impatience on my part, I learned how to ride a bike. Yeah. Okay. Question number five. What would you name your daughter if you had one? Actually, it's funny because I, I know that like me and a lot of friends, we just do this fun thing where we like to imagine our future sons, our future children's names 
and I've compiled a future list. But I haven't thought of many girl names at all because for some reason I just can't find one that I like. And you would think, huh, well, I'm a girl. There must be lots of names I like, not really. And it's actually kind of hard because, you know, I, I feel like it's dependent on what type of personality your kid has and maybe like my mind will change when the kid actually comes as opposed to before it's born so for right now the only name that I really like right now is Elena so I'm thinking oh that's a really nice name but that might end up changing later on I'm not too sure yet so we'll see question six what was your favorite TV show when you were a child oh man I had so many favorite TV shows I would say the one I really liked was Rugrats, and I actually still like that a lot now too. I still watch it every once in a while when it comes up as reruns on Nickelodeon, so yeah. I really love that show. It, it was actually really interesting because you realize how smart those babies are. Like, you're thinking, oh, you know, they'll just sit in the corner and not do anything. No, no, they're going out and having adventures, and it was actually really fun, and you see their imaginations go super wide and you're thinking oh cool I wish I could do that as a kid yeah I tried to do some of the stuff they did and I ended up breaking some stuff which was not good that's another story for another day but yes that was my favorite TV show as a child question number seven what did you dress up as on Halloween when you were eight that was in elementary school so I think I dressed up as a unicorn, like it was a costume that we got as a hand-me-down from one of my mom's co-workers and so I saw it and I thought, oh this is really cute, I really want to wear it, it was so adorable, it was like a, a, a onesie, right? A white onesie and then it had this big giant kind of like headpiece thingy that you strapped to your head and it was a big unicorn head so it was all soft and amazing, and I thought, oh, this is super adorable, I can be super cute. It wasn't until I started, like, marching through with the other children in school, because they would march around, like, this big field that we had, and all the parents would be gathered around taking pictures, and it wasn't until that moment where I was like, oh no, I just made the biggest mistake of my life because that was probably one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. I had a ton of moms just looking at me, and they're all smiling and taking pictures, and I'm just like, look away, look away, look away! Uh, I, I'm like, it was cute when I thought about it, but then when I wore it, I was just like, mm, I don't want to wear this anymore. And my mom was like, oh, you know, I just, just, I didn't want to wear the head part, because it it's a big unicorn head. And then she was like, oh, no, 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 it won't look right if you don't put it on. So I put it on, I strapped it on, and I went in line, and I was like, hmm, please be over soon. But yeah, that was what I dressed up as. I thought it was actually really, I think it's like really hilarious now and kind of cute, and I probably wouldn't mind all too much um, now that I think about it, because it's like, hey, you're a kid, you look adorable. But at the time, it's kind of like, oh, no, people are looking, and yeah. Tons of smiling parents that day. Question 8. Have you read any of the Harry Potter, Hunger Games, or Twilight series? Ah, the most popular series ever that are all so well known. For Harry Potter, I didn't read any of the books. I tried reading the first book and then I got kind of bored and I couldn't get through it. And for me myself personally, I'm not much of a reader. Like, I'll read some things, depends on the genre, and if I'm not interested in it, I just won't read it. But I have watched all the movies, I thought the movies were really great, and yeah, that was that. Uh, for Hunger Games, I didn't read the books, I watched the first movie, and then that was it. I wasn't really that interested in it, despite how popular it was. I remember everyone at school, you know, they'd say, oh, the books are really great, the movie's really great, but it's just, I just couldn't get into it for some weird reason. And then for the Twilight series, of course, that was something that was really popular too when I was back in middle school and partway through high school. I read all the books in that series. I thought that the books were really great. I watched all the movies too, but the movies I felt didn't really portray the books as well as I thought they could. Um, it was okay. Question 9. What language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? So my 
fluent or my native language that I am fluent in is English right now. And I should be fluent in Chinese or rather specifically Cantonese because that's what the majority of my family and everyone I know who's Chinese speaks. I should be fluent in it, but I'm not. I understand it, but and I can speak maybe a little bit, a few phrases here and there, but that's pretty much it. Question number 10. Do you prefer Titanic or The Notebook? Personally, I prefer The Notebook because one, I'm a big Nicholas Sparks fan, and two, I just thought that the storyline was really touching. Not that, that the Titanic wasn't touching, I actually really like that, that as story as well, but The Notebook, I just prefer it. Question 11, have you ever had Indian food? Yes, I have had Indian food. I have a great friend who's Indian and she always shows us like different types of dishes to try, and then I was like introduced to different types of curry and I was recently introduced to curry pizza and that stuff is amazing even though I have very low tolerance of spicy food in fact I'm pretty bad at tolerating spicy food all my friends know after another funny story I'll share one day about spicy food and you all well most of my friends know what this story is but Yes, I have a very low tolerance of spicy food, but it is delicious. I love the flavors, I love the spices, really good, all that. I just wish I had a higher tolerance to eating it. So question number 12. How many times have you been to the hospital? So not including when obviously when I was a baby. I would say I've been to the hospital, from what I can recall, I have been to the hospital once, personally, and that was the very first time. Question 13. What flavor tea do you enjoy? Actually, I enjoy a lot of fruity flavored teas, so anything peach is something that I like or anything with passion fruit is another thing is really good. I've never really been into the ones that have mint flavored or um even what do you call those like i don't know if they have cinnamon flavored tea or something like that but just other flavors that are kind of more on the um not fruity but like sweeter side i guess i've never really been into question number 14 if you have a nickname what is it actually i do have a nickname it is one nickname that my sister's always call me and it's hammy so basically where that originated from is because when I was a baby I looked like it's funny they thought I looked like a chipmunk because I had such like big cheeks when I was a baby and they're like oh well she's so adorable she has like you know really cute big cheeks and awesome and she's tiny like a chipmunk but then they couldn't think of a nice nickname for a chipmunk so then they just switched to a hamster because they're like well hamsters stuff food in their cheeks and make them big like that so they're like we'll call her hammy so yeah i'm hammy <laughs> so last and final question what's the last compliment you got the last compliment i got was i believe I want to say it is from one of my co-workers who said that I was pretty charismatic. I consider that a compliment because sometimes I'm told that I'm very hard to read or that I seem very stoic. So to be told that I'm charismatic is actually pretty cool because now I know that, all right, I can actually be really outgoing and stuff like that because I genuinely am. Because even when I'm happy, sometimes I come across as either mad or I come across as not feeling anything or people can't really quite tell how I feel. So being told I'm charismatic, that's a great compliment. So I thank you for that. As always, thanks so much for watching. It was really fun being able to answer all of these questions, even though I only answered 15 out of the 50. Maybe I will do the remaining later, but for now, that's where I'm gonna leave it and I hope to do more videos like this in the future especially now that I have more time I can post more vlogs and a lot more content so I definitely look forward to that thank you so much for watching 
and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon.